so welcome back uh, grade 11 students so from today you, we are going to start a new session of grade 11 all these days i'll be doing uh, subjects or uh, topics for grade 12 as i discussed yesterday so from today we'll be doing <laughs> every chapter of grade 11th and that will be either as i said it will be uploaded on sunday or monday right it will be you'll be having i'll be doing all the subtopics my main target is to cover all the concepts right it is not basically completing the syllabus i want you to get acquainted with the topics one topic of the other one topic of the other please take out your notebooks and keep noting the concepts for us understanding the concept is important once you understand the concept you can you'll be in a position to solve any type of problems right so the chapter which i'm going to start today is chemical bonding so write the heading chemical bonding chemical bonding in this chemical bonding chapter when i go with uh, the index of the chemical bonding basically i have a habit of giving the index first so that it is easy for me as well as for you to go through the topics right always remember whenever you are starting with the chapter go with the index so that during your exam you can just take your pen tick on the index and then finally go for your you know it will be a complete preparation for the chapter when we go with chemical bonding, <coughs> your chemical bonding chapter is basically divided into theories or if I can say approaches or if I can say theories. It is also divided or it is also classified into a topic called concepts, you know, small, small concepts. The LCBS is trying to introduce you or NC, yeah, NCRT is trying to introduce small, small topics so that further in your study when you go for your master's degree or when you go for your master's, you know, you have the basics in your 11th. And <laughs> apart from these concepts, theories, concepts and everything, you have something called types right so when i speak about approaches theory or approaches of theory in your syllabus you are going to learn about cosell lewis theory right so cosell lewis approach or cosell lewis theory you will also be i'll be writing this theory and get types again let me write types here apart from cosell lewis theory you are going to study mot molecular orbital <coughs> theory you will be studying about VBT, valence bond theory. You will be studying about Vesper, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Okay. Some you may also have this, not a problem. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, Vesper theory. You also have, uh, and uh, apart from these, like VBT is done. Okay. This is linked to this. This is linked, right? When I come back to the concepts of chemical bonding, you have a concept of hydrogen bonding. You will be studying the types of hydrogen bonding. You will be studying what are the factors of hydrogen bonding. You will also be learning how is hydrogen bonding formed. You will also be studying whether the because of the hydrogen bonding is the solubility increasing or decreasing. right? You will also learn about our concepts of dipole moment. You will also be learning concepts of hybridizations, right? In hybridizations, you have sp hybridization, sp2, sp3, sp3, or sp2d2, sp3, d2. Skip this. When you go to your grade 12, you also have inner d2, sp2, d2, sp3 hybrid orbitals. Apart from hybridization, you also have in your uh, syllabus concepts like, you know, small, small concepts like formal charges. Okay, this is again coming in between. Okay, you have concepts like formal charges. You'll be doing that. There is also a concept called Lewis dot structures. Right. Now, these are the basic concepts which I will be covering. Apart from this topic or apart from these concepts, your NCRT also gives you the information on types of bonds. Right. So, we very well know, we have studied in great length also, ionic bond, covalent bond, coordinate covalent bond, coordinate 
covalent bond or dative bond this is also called as dative bond so your whole uh, chapter i've just summarized it they would they've divided into your theories they've divided into your concepts they've divided into types now i'll be going in detail about every concept of this every theory of this every detailing of this but remember whenever i'm doing suppose i'm not going like you know first page of ncrt second page no i'll be going suppose if i'm dealing with theories i'll be dealing all the theories if i'm dealing with concepts i'll be dealing all the concepts if i'm dealing with types of bonds i'll be dealing all what is the use of this because when a question paper is made <laughs> the particular chapter every chapter has certain weightage based on that weightage question will be given and suppose this chapter one mark question two marks and three marks in that way one two three and five so this is the main concept please note it i'll meet you again with the theories of chemical bonding